Hi, romance friends. We have got something so exciting to talk about today. It's cover trends. Covers are so important. Looking at a cover can help you decide if a book's in your genre, if it's something interesting that you feel like reading. And so authors are always thinking about, is this the cover for this book? Is this the picture for this cover? We spend a lot of times making covers just right. But sometimes, sometimes, authors go a little too far in trying to follow the trends. So uh, we're gonna talk today about like book covers that are on trend, but book covers that maybe aren't ideal. One popular cover trend, why can't I say the word popular? One popular cover trend is the one word title that kind of splashes and puts it out there. Here's an example of someone who did it really well. Helena Hunting, uh, her book Pucked, I mean, cute, funny, hot, sexy, and that arm there is just kind of, mm, okay, good job, girl. Uh, then we have this, uh, here's another great example. Kylie Scott had a book called Lick. Hello, I love that. I, I want to buy it just because it makes me think about licking things. And in particular, maybe that guy there. Um, that's a great use of the one word title. Uh, and it really probably makes a lot of readers want to one click. But then we have, you know, a book like this. Um, this one is called Spit, and it, it's a, if you, mm, I don't, I guess it's a hockey book about a dungeon, and I can't really, uh, find the sexy here. I mean, I'm trying, but, um, it, it seems as if the author has gotten it completely wrong from the, you know, the layout to the choice of cover model to the spit colored font. Uh, it's just overall super bad and unsexy. And um, I think, I does he not have his two front teeth? I can't. Another popular uh, cover trend for romance is the use of the man titty on the front. I mean, everyone knows we can't show lady titty, which, you know, sexist or not, you be the judge, but uh, men's titties are perfectly fine to put on books and a lot of authors will do that. I love me a great man titty cover. Here's Elle Kennedy's book, The Deal. Uh, nice, abs too, can't beat it. Um, here's another good uh, man titty cover, uh, Stasia Black's Hunter. Not only does he have the man titty, but he has like the flexed arms and like that scowl like I'm gonna tear up your lady parts. Uh, very nice. Good job, Miss Black. But then, you know, there's books like this. Um, first of all, the title is actually called My Man's Titties, which, okay, you know, points for putting it out there, but it's like, it, it goes too far. Like, it had just, it just has the the nipples there and then like what's with the arrows like pointing to the nipples like we get it it's, it's too in your face it's like hmm is this a book about man titty hmm I don't know it's just the point is to to draw readers in with them and not to write a whole book about man titties like that's not what the trends about no I will say that I totally love this trend of titles and covers that are like taken by the blank or, you know, something by the whatever. So um, I here's some great examples of this. Uh, Renee Rose and Rebel West bought by the Zandians. Check out them Zandians, man. I, would, I wouldn't mind being bought by them for a little bit, am I right? And then there's this uh, Captured by the Berserkers by Lee Savino. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I would like to be captured by them also. You know, sometimes these covers just really draw you in. Like, it's really important to use the right word that's gonna trigger 
that uh, impulse in the reader, like, yes, I want that. But then I saw this book, Given Rabies by the Dominant Camel. Like, just, okay, this book is part three in a series. And the series is called, I'm not kidding you, Suck My Hump. And I, it's like, I, I okay, I'm, I'm trying, okay. The, so I have problems with that. I have problems with like being given rabies because that is not something I want. That's not attractive. So even look at this. Humpalicious? And it says like just dash dash book review. It doesn't even say what book review it is. I don't believe this was even reviewed by anyone. I think the author just put this on here to try to sell more copies, which I really don't know if it's going to happen. And you know what the worst thing about this cover is? That is not even an attractive camel. It's not a handsome camel. It's not. Like, it's molting or something. Like, the fur is falling off of it. The last trend I'm going to talk about is the, uh, object on the cover trend. Object covers became really hot when E.L. James wrote Fifty Shades of Grey. Um, I think that those object covers were done very well. So um, I also have some object covers in my Rough Love series. Uh, I have, you know, those kind of a little more kinkier ones, a ball gag and some black rope and a collar for the last one for the Happily Ever After. Um, and I, I really think if object covers are done well, they can be effective. Uh, but then I, I came across this use of object covers. Wrench me? Like, wrench me? What? What? Mm, okay. Ring me. That is literally a ringer on the cover. And I don't even want to think what you would do with that in a kinky way. I don't want to think about it. And then, and the last book is Wreck Me. Um, okay, that's a wrecked car. Is, is that um, in a sexy way? I don't, wait a minute. The more I look at these covers, like, what? Tanabel Fosif? Tough Love? Th this person has totally ripped off my Rough Love series and called it Tough Love and by Tanabel Fosif, non-bestselling author. This is bullshit. What is going on these days? Who did this? This is fucking bullshit. I think I might actually write a book called Wreck Me Someday. It's gonna have like maybe Julian Edelman in it.